Mission Day at Haney Technical College. Crews taking down four buildings that are 50 years old and were heavily damaged by Hurricane Michael. This News 13's Alexia Chiropolis tells the school officials already have plans for the new space they're creating. There is now a light at the end of the tunnel for Haney Technical College. As each brick and ceiling tile fell to the ground, Haney director Ann Leonard couldn't help but get excited for future plans finally coming to fruition. We thought this would have happened back in January or, or before Christmas. So we're trying to be patient. I keep the plans for the new building on my desk because that's what that's our, the end in sight. Over my left hand shoulder here is just one of the four buildings that Haney is demolishing after after Hurricane Michael. Since there's multiple of them, it's going to take a few weeks for them to be completely cleared out of the way before new construction can start. The other three have not been renovated since they were built, and all of these buildings, I believe, were built around the late 60s, early 70s. So, you know, it's time for there to be some new construction. A new two story facility costing roughly $14 million will replace them. Haney's IT and nursing programs will be housed inside. In the planning, we intended to have some room to expand because of those are two high need areas right now for our community. Since Hurricane Michael, those programs have been crammed into building one. Leonard is most excited for students and staff to have their own space once again. In Bay County, Alexia Chiropolis, News 13, Panhandle Strong. Haney administrators hope to open the new addition in about two years.